Check out this nasty gunk caked all over the inside of this EcoBoost engine. Unburnt fuel and oil your engine forces out under high pressure thanks to direct injection and turbocharging. This can lead to shortening your engine's lifespan, hefty repair bills, and overall degrading the performance of your vehicle. If you stick around, we'll show you the shockingly easy way to prevent this from ruining your ride. How does all the gunk get here anyway? When your engine fires, tiny amounts of the air fuel mixture can slip past the piston rings and into the crankcase area. That's known as blow-by. The EcoBoost engine has a system called the PCV or positive crankcase ventilation that helps manage the gases and pressures that build up inside the engine while it's running. This system vents out gases from the engine back into the intake to be burned. But as a result of blow-by, that vented gas from the crankcase contains droplets of engine oil, water, and fuel that all get burnt on the backside of the intake valves, which leads to that gunk that we saw earlier. Well, that didn't used to be a problem because older cars had port injection, which actually cleaned off the back of the intake valves with gasoline. But with this new GDI engines or gasoline direct injection, that gasoline is being sprayed right into the cylinder, so there's no cleaning action on the back of those valves. While some of the newer EcoBoosts do include actually gasoline direct injection and port injection for cleaning, they still have a problem as well. Consider the increased pressures generated by turbocharging. Turbos actually compress the air entering the engine, creating even higher pressure levels. This intensified pressure increases the problem of blow-by where more of the air fuel mixture can escape past the piston rings and into the crankcase area. The higher pressures essentially blow more of that contaminated mixture into the crankcase, increasing to a larger amount of carbon buildup on the back of the intake valves. But you also have the CCV, which is located here on the driver's side of the engine. The CCV is the crankcase ventilation system, and that basically functions like the PCV, but it's designed to handle the increased pressure from the turbocharger. Instead of the intake manifold, the CCV vents crankcase gases to the driver's side turbo down here, this helps reduce the pressure, build up, and prevent leaks and other issues in a boosted engine like the EcoBoost. Today, we're actually showcasing the ADD W1 oil catch can specifically for the first generation EcoBoost. What is an oil catch can? It works by using baffles and chambers to separate and trap oils and droplets of those contaminants of the air fuel mixture that we talked about earlier before it gets recirculated back into the intake. So you're essentially feeding your intake cleaner air. This helps prevent that contaminated mixture from baking onto the back of the intake valves. What we have here is the PCV and we'll also be installing the CCV. So you'll have one side that goes on the left side or the passenger side and one side that goes to the driver's side. The nice thing about the ADDW1 is the fact that it has a built-in dipstick. So you can just check the dipstick and see if you need to empty it. And if you do need to empty it, it's a simple twist and it comes right out. It's customizable. So they actually sent me a blue ring to go with my blue truck as, as well as some optional blue aluminum clamps that you'll see later in the video. The installation for the first generation is super easy because on the PCV, it's just one line and on the CCV, it's also just one line as well. No sensors to deal with if you have a first generation EcoBoost. Now, if Ford Performance is even willing to make one of these oil catch cans, you can bet that this is definitely a modification that you should make to your ride. Now I will tell you the Ford Performance version for the later EcoBoost engines is actually just the PCV side and that's where you're going to see most of that gunk get captured. However, it's just extra insurance to do one on the CCV side as well. So you're not going to get as much stuff out of the CCV side but I say, hey, if you're already doing it and it's an easy install and you're already willing to spend a little bit of money, just get both, do them on the same day. It's just that little bit of extra protection. If these are so useful that even Ford Performance creates their own version, why are these not pre-installed from the factory? Honestly, it probably comes down to a couple things. Maintenance is gonna be one. They do require uh, periodically emptying them so that whether that's a couple thousand miles or every oil change, they do need to be emptied. All that oil that catches has to go somewhere. And second is cost. It's probably a cost cut measure. All right, we're preparing the oil catch can. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to slide the provided O-ring on and we're just going to slide it down there. And now we're going to insert it into the outlet and then we'll do the same on the inlet side. Now, if you wanted a little bit of extra security or peace of mind, you can install Teflon tape, but it's not required as long as you have that O-ring on there and you don't over tighten the O-ring. My little piece of advice with installing Teflon tape is make sure you go clockwise. So that way, when you screw it in, it doesn't unravel on you. But once again, we're just gonna be going with the O-ring on top of this piece here and screwing it in. And I'm gonna go until it's snug. And that's pretty snug right there. And then I'm just gonna give it a quarter turn with the 19 millimeter. You could use a wrench, or in this case, I'm gonna use a socket wrench. 
And that was like a quarter turn. And that's all I'm gonna do. So that's, that's pretty snug. And a quarter turn, that's it. And now it's time to prepare the mount for the oil catch can on the PCV side. So simply what we're gonna do is we're going to unbolt the two bolts that are already in the engine bay. Right here on the left, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. On the right there is going to be an eight millimeter. And then the kit actually comes with a 10 millimeter uh, nut and bolt that we'll be installing right there. In order to install the oil catch cans, you're gonna to have to take off your engine cover. In order to do that on the EcoBoost, you're gonna untwist your oil cap, and then you're just gonna lift up and pull it towards you. And you're gonna to wanna to replace your oil cap. So we have the nut on the back side of the bracket and we're gonna put the bolt on the front side through the already pre-existing hole in the engine bay of the F-150. So now that we have all three bolts kind of in place, I'm gonna go back and tighten them up. So what I'm using is a 10 millimeter wrench on the back side to hold the nut and then my 10 millimeter socket to tighten the bolt right here. All right, we're gonna use an Allen key and we're gonna unscrew two of the bolts right here so we can use those to mount to the bracket installed inside the vehicle. All right, before we can install these two tubes right here, we need to take off the factory hose on the PCV side. So there is two connectors. We'll start with the one down here. You're gonna want to find the little gray tab, pull it towards you and lift up. Same thing on this side. You're simply going to push it over and you're gonna be able to pull the tube off. So we're gonna install the OEM style connector that's gonna go into the intake side over here. And in order to do that, we're gonna utilize one hose clamp and one connector. So I'm gonna slide the hose clamp over the hose and then I'm going to install the connector here and I'm going to push and twist at the same time to make sure that those get a nice seal and then you should look like that. And then I'll slide the hose clamp over it and we will tighten it once we get it installed. Got a nice click, so that's on there. So we're gonna connect this side of the hose that's coming from the intake to the outlet side because that's the clean air coming through the catch can. Now, before you slide it over the outlet, you should install a hose clamp, but because in our case, we have the optional aluminum hose clamp, I'll install that after the fact. So right now I'm simply going to slide it on to the can. There we go. So we have our second hose for the side. We're gonna slide on our hose clamp. All right, then we're gonna put on the other factory style connector, the 90 degree one. So make sure you put on the right one. Once again, I'm going to push and turn to make sure it's in there nice and snug. All right, and then I'll slide that guy up and then I'll tighten it once he's installed. Clicks on there. Now we're gonna tighten the hoses. So we are now moving on to the CCV side because we did the PCV side. Now the steps don't really change that much per side. The only difference is, is we are going to install the mount here first before we install it in the engine bay because there's not going to be a lot of space to be able to move once the mount is installed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the mounting bracket and we're going to attach it to the can directly right here using the same screws that we just unscrewed. 
Okay, so I'm gonna loosen up this bolt using a 10 millimeter socket on a socket wrench. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the bracket up right here because the this hole right here is where we're utilizing a push pin that they gave us. So there's nothing to remove here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bracket up here and go ahead and start putting in the bolt right here. I'm now gonna go ahead and disconnect the old hose that's right here so you can replace it with the new hose. So just like on the other side, there's like a little latch. There you go, that's one. So we're about to go ahead and install this hose. Now, if you could see, we actually pre-installed this connector to the hose because it's the exact same procedure as we did on the other side, so nothing new. So we are gonna start with this guy, which is the right angle, which is gonna go directly to the engine. Okay, so just gonna push this guy down right there, easy. Now you can see I kind of wrapped it around right here in the instructions. The picture actually shows that doing the same thing, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and connect this piece to the air inlet uh, and then connect it to the can. And this one is all the way down here in the engine bay. Pretty deep. There is locked in place. I'm gonna do kind of the same. There we go. Now I need to go ahead and clamp these guys down with the blue aluminum clamp. And there you have it, a pretty simple solution for a pretty big problem. For just a few hundred dollars, you give yourself an added layer of protection for your EcoBoost engine. A little bit of work and a little investment goes a long way in protecting your engine. That's right guys, but we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.